Okay, so welcome to Math Story, ha? and it's up this topic, Solving System of Nonlinear Equations Using Elimination Method. So take note that we can only use this elimination method if there are like terms in the system. So like terms are terms with the same variables and the same exponents. Examples of like terms, we have this 2x and negative 3x so the same variables and the same exponents 4y squared and 2y squared or negative 5y and y or you can have x and x so these are the examples of like terms so in the system since we have these like terms positive 4x and positive x and also this negative 8y and negative y so therefore we can eliminate one variable so that in the system we only have one variable left so if we're going to eliminate this y observe that we still have two variables so therefore on this case we need to eliminate this x but since we can only eliminate a variable if the same coefficient but opposite in sign so if this one is 2x so therefore the other one must be negative 2x if we have this negative 3y the other one must be positive 3y or if we have x so the other one must be negative x so in the given since this one is positive 4x so therefore this x must be negative 4x and to make this negative 4x we need to multiply this whole equation by negative 4 then copy this first equation so we have y squared plus 4x minus 8y minus 48 equals 0 then for the second equation we need to distribute this negative 4 to every terms so we have negative 4 times x this one is negative 4x and negative 4 times negative y that's positive 4y then this negative 4 times negative 4 that's positive 16 then equals 0 then simplify so add these two equations observe that we have this positive 4x and negative 4x so this time we can eliminate now this x then simplify so bring down this y squared and this negative 8y and positive 4y this one is negative 4y then this negative 48 and positive 16 that's negative 32 then equals 0 since this one is a quadratic equation so we can solve this one by factoring so first we need to write this y to both sides of the factor so we have y and y then we need to list all the factors of this negative 32 since negative 32 so therefore one of the factor is positive and one is negative but since the middle term is negative so therefore the bigger number must be negative so these are now the factors of negative 32 so we have this negative 32 times 1 so the bigger number must be negative and negative 16 times 2 and also negative 8 times 4 then add the factors so this negative 32 plus 1 this one is negative 31 negative 16 plus 2 that's negative 14 and negative 8 plus 4 this one is negative 4 since the middle term is negative 4 and this one is negative 4 so therefore these are the factors of negative 32 so we have 
negative 8 and positive 4. Then to solve for y, we need to equate these two factors to 0. So we have y minus 8 equals 0 and the other one y plus 4 equals 0. So to solve for y, so we have y equals transpose this negative 8 that becomes positive 8. And the other one, y equals transpose this positive 4 that becomes negative 4. So these are the values for y. Then to solve for x, so solve for x from any of these two equations, but I prefer to use equation number 2. So I'm going to use this equation to solve for x. So at y equals positive 8 from this equation, so we have x minus y and y is positive 8 then minus 4 equals 0 then simplify so we have x negative 8 and negative 4 this one is negative 12 then equals 0 then to solve for x so transpose x is equal to positive 12 then the other one so at y equals this negative 4 so the same equation so we have x minus y and y is negative 4 then minus 4 equals 0 so we have now x negative and negative that's positive then minus 4 equals 0 then positive 4 minus 4 this one is 0 so x is equal to zero so therefore the solutions of this system so if x equals positive 12 y equals positive 8 and if x equals 0 y equals negative 4 so these are the solutions of this nonlinear equation.